Hey everyone out there in social media world and how are you guys doing and I do hope that you are doing fine. I do hope that you are safe. I hope that you are watching your finances. I do hope that you are watching your medical status and your surrounding. I know presently you are watching the news a lot. But I stopped by today to spark that bulb in your mind. I stopped by to put a smile on your face. I stopped by to give you a thought provoker. Just a few. I just want us to look at a few means of which we can overcome this crisis. And you may want to overcome. Yes, I want us to look at a few ways we can overcome. We can make the most. We can come out of this thing not limping. Or if we come out of it limping, is rather than a broken leg. It's better being alive, coming out financially is something to hold on to. So let's look at that. I want to give you five tips of how you can make the most of this present pandemic. Five tips of how you can make the most of this potential recession. One, regular health checks. Yes, regular health checks. You can't come out of it in a good condition if you don't come out of it. Yes, I said that. You really and truly, if you're going to try your best to stay away from Corona, if you're going to try your best not to become infected, then you will have to take your necessary precaution. Wash your hands, refrain from hand-to-hand uh, -hand connections, refrain from being in a room of, with people who may be sick, avoid public transportation, avoid public eating areas, uh, avoid large crowds these are measures that you will have to take now to help protect you as of course some of you who may have underlying health sicknesses some of you who are most vulnerable then i would highly recommend you visit your respective health centers or some of these doctors some of these nurses may visit you take advantage of the opportunity to maximize on your medication knows you can get your checks done via the health centers you can get your prescriptions via the public pharmacies which are much cheaper so you save some money on that two this one is interesting if you are a pastor or someone who is responsible for a large group i am encouraging you to educate your people educate your followers Educate your attendees, educate your congregation, whatever you call them, educate them. Take time out to give financial and crisis management seminars. Yes, I know large groups may be prohibited. However, you can make the most of this via video stream or even smaller groups. And if your island permits a larger group, make the most of it. Think of this, if your members, churches, if your members are financially free, if your members walk out of this possible crisis, this possible recession, this pandemic, if your members walk out of it financially free, then they don't have to come to you for financial help. Mm -hmm. Think of it. Another one is for you leaders, Advocate battering as a currency. Yes, advocate battering as a currency. Right now, you know you can get yourself a credit break from some banks for about three months, whether loans or mortgages. But not just that, you can do the same. If there is someone in your church, there is someone in your group, there is someone in your organization that makes website, and you know Paul needs a website for his business. This is the opportunity for Paul to seize on that this is the opportunity that paul can exchange i have a few extra packs of toilet paper and that may be extreme but paul can say hey my business can offer a few services to you for free in this downtime we can now merge together and pay using battering it is still a currency my friend battering is still a currency your time is money. 
So if you can give someone your time for an exchange, you can benefit real. Hint, hint, folks who may have websites, folks who may have a few other service-based businesses, maybe you are a mechanic, this is a perfect opportunity for you to approach a public bus person who may need some maintenance. Know that he may have to restrain from or uh, be guided from carrying public passengers. He can now bring his vehicle in your shop for repairs during this time or upgrade. Think on that. Self-investment. Self-investment. This is a time that you can read more books. You can write more books. You can do more chores or whatever work that was on your back bench. Or you can take a time to rest. Yes, travel restrictions. However, you can take some time out to just debrief from everything that is around you. Or if you have been burnt out, this is the time that you know slow down, slow down. Take that into consideration. Number three, start a small business. Am I asking you to start a business when everyone is possibly preparing to close a business? Yes. Look at this. Right now, we have to get away from large crowd. We, we have to move away from large crowds in this time. At this time, folks need an errand boy. Mm -hmm. They need an errand boy. There are folks that are afraid to go to the shop because they don't want to get infected. There are folks that are so conscious about this infection medically, then they, they are just avoiding or quote social distancing from everyone or everything. This is an opportunity for you as an errand boy to maximize on that. Two, you can become a tutor or a babysitter. We as schools are closing, but work business places are still open. Therefore, children are home with no one. To look at to look after them in balance therefore you can seize you can seize this opportunity become a personal tutor tutor the legal amount of children at the moment so if in the event that you can't have a group of 10 tutor nine children think of that become a babysitter if someone has five children however they still have to go to work you can become a babysitter in that case this one is interesting. Set up some sanitary or hand sanitizer refill stations. If you have the money, just like a water refill station across the island, you can create some hot spots where one can go and refill their sanitizer bottles or simply wipe their hands at a small cost, maybe a quarter. A dollar just like the water refill station a sanitizer refill station those are options you can consider for businesses we can go on and on we can jump to number four number four you can get a part-time job we as most of the world is presently laying off the waiters they are laying off the folks that have to work in major offices but I'm telling you get a part-time job yes Delivery. If you are a taxi driver or a public bus driver, a public van or whatever it may be, you are now forced to close down due to the pause in tourism or mass traveling. You are forced to close down. So therefore, your vehicle is now available for delivery service. You, Amazon is presently hiring a large amount of people to facilitate delivery. You can maximize on that as well. Even Uber, maybe your island don't have an Uber system. You can now start that. Folks no longer want to travel in a public transportation with 15, 20 passengers. They prefer to be in a vehicle of people that they know and trust. Maybe they need a vehicle for themselves. So you can now offer that Uber-based, taxi-based service for private shutters think on that number five number five stocks shares yes at this point the stock market is going down and that's why we are foreseeing a possible recession 
as the stock market is gradually dropping. Shares for businesses are gradually dropping also. Uh, they are gradually falling. So therefore then, you can now maximize on this. We are, as everyone is coming out, you can go in. Yes, it's a gamble. It means that you may lose some, but hey, never invest more than you are willing to lose. No worries on that. This is also another opportunity for flights. If you have intention of traveling later in the year, then you can start booking your flights now. Yes, most of the world are closing their airports. A large amount of our aircrafts are now on the ground. But I'm telling you to book a flight. Yes, book a flight. At the moment, the flights are much cheaper than they would be by the time you are ready to book your flight. So book your flight now. Save some monies. It may be a $200. It may be 100 But either way, that $100 to $200 can now be used for something else, somewhere else. So, And the good thing is, in the event that Corona or this pandemic and the after effect, which is the financial crisis, in the event that stick around too long, then you can always cancel your flight and you are more than likely going to receive a refund or a credit from the company. Easy like that. You're just secured or your seat on a plane or you just happen to get back your money. Or you can always postpone your flight for the next time you may have a flight. So you got in and you can now stay in and move around your cards on that airline. Lastly, so I just gave you five guys. Lastly, I'm gonna give you number six. Bless someone, help someone. You can never be too busy and you can never be too low to help someone. This is the opportunity for you to give someone some food that you may have at home from your pantry. Someone who genuinely needs it. Give someone a blanket. This time, folks are now out of their homes because they have no campuses. They, they have no homes that they can stay in a, in a large group, especially if they are not a part of a nursing home or if they don't have families in that state or island. So you can now be that good Samaritan, or if I can say that good Kittishan, that good Antiguan, that good Trinidadian, whatever you may be. This is your opportunity to help someone. And believe me, people do not forget givers. Givers are never forgotten. They are never forgotten. That's about it. Come out of this thing walking, come out of it jumping, come out of it ready to tell the world what you learned through it. But most importantly, you have to be level-headed through it for you to even come out on it. Remember, you, you have to be level-headed through it for you, to, for you to even exit it on top of it. I'm Janil. Have a wonderful one.